Welcome, Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It is January 16th, 2017, and I have an explosive story for you today. The future of spying Earth's atmosphere can be turned into a massive surveillance system using lasers scientists discover. Now, they're talking about an atmospheric lens, using lasers to create an atmospheric lens to spy on people. And this system is called the Laser Developed Atmospheric Lens. Where have I heard this before? It sounds a lot like HARP, but let's get into that technology real quick. Atmospheric thermal lensing and laser resonators. Anybody knows anything about me knows my middle name is Resonated. And that uh, this technology was published back in 1995 here. And uh, there's a paywall here, so I went and found a PDF for you. Links will be in the details. So atmospheric thermal lensing and laser resonators right there you can read all about it but the, it's generally the same idea as what we've seen with harp so what are we talking about we're talking about geophysical warfare others are engaging in even an eco type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate set off vol earthquakes volcanoes remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves and that was secretary of defense william cohen Speaking at the Terrorism Weapons of Mass Destruction in U.S. Strategy, Sam Nunn Policy Forum in 1997. Nothing to shake a stick at there. And uh, what are we talking about? This artificial ionospheric mirror. We are over here on climateviewer.com slash harp. And you scroll right down here to why heat the ionosphere. It says create an artificial ionospheric mirror. And I have that for you over here on my script. And you can come look at it. It's straight from the military. This is... Arco Technologies and the military go in physics studies and artificial ionospheric mirror related phenomena, how it really works and what they say about it. And this was published in 1990. Um, and what we're talking about is ionospheric mirrors um, created by ionospheric heaters. So these heaters are all over the globe. This is climateviewer.org. If you click on right here, electromagnetic, and then click on ionospheric heaters, it'll put a check. A little check mark right there and then I uh, click this expand tree right here and you can see each one around the globe um, and it'll actually fly you to them so if you want to go to harp it'll fly you over there and then you can fly to the next one um, but these are these are all over the globe uh, they've been around since the actually the 70s you know with Arecibo's first version but 1990 on they've really been uh, expanding around the globe you got HARP in Alaska, Puerto Rico's, the Arecibo University's um, or, or observatories, heater. You have one in Tromso, uh, Sura. You can see it right there. Any one of these, you click on them, it'll tell you the you know how big the antennas are, what they look like. You can actually see this one's actually glowing. It's freaking scary. Um, and uh, here's over here in Japan. It took me two years to find all these and document all this. So just this one map is a work of art. And I suggest you all dig into it and learn, you know, the actual statistics and stuff and on these. And if you like, come down here, click on satellites and you can actually fly to them simply by clicking on them and go see what they look like. It'll show you pretty freaking awesome. Boom. Don't let me down. Internets. <laughs> so there you go and that's the heart facility um so these are all over the world and the reason why it's a problem is because um this is old 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 ideas this is 1929 i'm over on weathermodificationhistory.com my latest project um and you can see the most dreadful weapon the atmospheric lens the space mirror um and it talks about how this would be the most horrible weapon far surpassing all previous weapons because it's the burning glass and when you can focus the power of the sun, you have the power of God. So this then gets revisited in 1968 with the solar power satellite, wherein they said, let's make this, uh, you know, basically a solar panel in the sky in space, um, looks like 25 kilometers long and use all that energy, focus it into a beam and sh shoot it down to earth, except it could burn up cities. It does weather modification, climate modification, all kinds of issues, beam steering and all that. But even the military said that, you know, as long as the United States called it solar energy, it could not be considered a weapons project. And this is more of the same. We've got a case where we're front page news on the sign. We're using our own atmosphere as a weapon, a spy tool. What do you think? 
we have you know reached global awareness people good job we've done it now what are we going to do about it so that's my story for today and i'm sticking to it and unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot nothing is going to get better it's not love you mean it